Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the direction of a torque. Again, the torque is the product of a force applied to an object at a point not directly where the point of rotation is and with the distance from the point of rotation to where the force is applied. And later on we'll show you that what if the force is at an angle and then we have to do something different. But at least you can see that there's a torque here, there's a force acting on the object and the line of action of the force is not through the pivot point, it's some distance away from the pivot point, the distance here is r. Notice that torque is actually a vector, just like a force is a vector, a force has a magnitude and direction, a torque has a magnitude and direction. But in this case the torque doesn't have the same type of direction as a force. The force can be pointing in any direction, a torque is more a rotational direction, or I should say a torque has more of a rotational direction. In this case, you can see that if this was the only force act on this, on this object right here, and this object could only turn at this point, this is the point of rotation, you can see that that would cause this piece, this, this object, to rotate in a clockwise direction. So we call that a clockwise direction for the torque. It turns out that the sign associated with a clockwise direction is negative, so we would consider this a negative torque. You can then see here that the force is in the opposite direction. If this was the only force acting on this object, and again the line of action of the force is over here, it's not going through the pivot point to the point of rotation, then you can see that this would cause this object to rotate in a counterclockwise direction, and therefore the direction of this torque would be counterclockwise. We write it as CCW for counterclockwise and CW for clockwise. Also note that if the torque is counterclockwise, we consider that a positive torque. So positive torque is counterclockwise, negative torque is a clockwise torque. And that's how we determine the direction of a torque. Later on we'll de deal a little bit more with the specifics of the fact that it's a vector and how to work with the vector quantities. But here this is enough to realize you can have a positive torque or a negative torque. A positive torque is a counterclockwise torque, a negative torque is a clockwise torque. And it's simply the best way to figure out if it's clockwise or counterclockwise is to say if this was the only force acting on it, which way would the object rotate? And that will determine the direction of the torque. That's how it's done.